So at this point, it's just a matter of heating the heating the music wire up. this thing up I get it pretty orange it's um it's not red hot but it's orange and that's how long it takes it to fall so I don't know if you can see this or not but get a close-up of where it came out so right here is the, uh, the exit point looking at these templates and uh, according to these templates that I've got cut these wooden ribs are inside of those templates so I don't think my coring templates are going to interfere with these ribs and if they do it's not that big a deal because all the foam is going away I think I'm good here. I'll just go ahead and triple core it and then we'll knock these panels out. I'm going to try something different here. Um, with these little pieces like this, I was having trouble with that masking tape using it as a hinge. And now, in order to get the glue on this edge, I'm going to do this. That perfectly align that glue on the edge now I'm not sure if this would actually work with uh, you know if you're gonna do a wing skin or something but if you're working with small stuff like this I think this is the way to go I'm talking about just dipping that wood in there. It gives you the perfect amount of glue. Hardly any squeeze out. Now this is tight bond three. I need to get me a tape dispenser like Bob's got, Bob Hunt. So this looks really clean. There's, I mean, virtually, virtually no glue squeeze out. It's just what's in that seam. Okay, that worked out good. Tip of the day, 
Don't apply the glue to the wood, apply the wood to the glue. Now this glue is going to be dry before I get the other sanded up. Now here's the beauty of working with uh, plate glass. This little glue right there is already dried. Now up here, we're going to clean this up. Instead of actually taking this glue and wiping it, we're going to squeegee it out with this blade. That way we're not actually smearing it. There you go, dry. 